Hi, it's Johanna, and today I want to tell you just a little bit about this fragrance. It's called Rogba Wood Intense Eau de Parfum by Latafa, made in the UAE. I picked this up off of Amazon a couple of months ago, and I think I, I'm not sure, I, I was expecting it to not be the Wood Intense version. I think I was expecting it to be the regular Rogba because I like vanilla so much. But this is what came. And I didn't argue with it. I was just like, oh, it's a different bottle than I expected. A different, maybe, style. I didn't realize maybe they sent me the wrong thing. Or maybe it was my fault. My mistake. So I, I took this, I sampled it, and you know what? I was pretty disappointed. I was disappointed at first. Over time, I started to spray it in the evening when it's getting cooler. And I was spraying it on my clothes. And I noticed that it has quite a strong woody smell. It also has moderately sweet uh, mid to base in it. And I see here that the main accords are woody and amber and then sweet. Then balsamic, then smoky, then caramel, which I don't like caramel. That's the case. I don't usually like caramel. Then vanilla, then oud, powdery, and soft spicy. And this fragrance was released in 2014. The perfumer is not noted. And the notes, the top notes are caramel, guaiac wood, licorice, and cedar. Then in the mid is oud, sugar, sandalwood, and cashmere wood. And in the base is incense, vanilla, amber, oak moss, and musk. Yes, so I don't get all of these notes, but I definitely do get some sweetness. So that could be coming from the sugar, or it could be coming from the caramel. I like that they put oak moss in this fragrance. It gives it depth, and I think it needs that, even though there's something in here producing a smoky accord. Could be incense, but usually incense means frankincense or olibanum, and it doesn't often come with a smokiness to it unless there's something else that they add. They say incense, maybe they added it. It's like an incense accord more than an actual one material that creates that. I noticed that in the top notes, they also have licorice cedar and guaiac wood and i think the guaiac wood gives it something bitter and that was also hard for me to take at first the bitterness with the sweetness like that combo just wasn't doing it for me sometimes it really does but that time it wasn't so i have learned to start to enjoy this fragrance i think it's going to take me a while to finish the bottle my dent is right here right now and you know i'm an over sprayer but when I use this, I just spray it on my clothes. I don't spray it on my actual skin. I, I spray it on my hoodie, mainly on the sleeves. I don't want it too close to my face because I don't want to be smelling it all the time. It's, it's intense. And I can see that people would probably have a hard time liking this fragrance. I mean, it does have a 4.12 out of 5 on Fragrantica out of 1,200 votes. So that's pretty good. I would say beware. This is intense and it's smoky and it's very masculine leaning. I would say mostly women would probably not enjoy this fragrance unless they were looking for something to conjure memories or give them like a certain, you know, create a scene for them, something like that. So it's by Latafa. I don't have many fragrances by Latafa. That's my, that's my impression of Ragba Wood Intense Eau de Parfum and let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you like it. If you really like it, I'd be interested to know what you like about it. And yeah, where, how do you wear it? How do you wear it? When do you wear it? How long have you owned it? All right. I will see you again soon.